Hey guys, it's Grim, and welcome to our Japan series. Yeah, guys, so it's been a minute since we've had a series here. Um, yeah, our country is Japan, and this is a uh, World War III game, so the whole map here is going to be the entire world. So Europe, of course, Africa, uh, Asia, United States, North America, South America. And uh, yeah, guys, it's going to be pretty fun. Of course, we're controlling Japan here. And uh, we're actually uh, a few days in already. It's day six. Um, we're about halfway through day six, and uh, we have um, a few uh, a few friends here on our coalition. Um, I'm the leader currently of uh, a coalition called the East Allies of Power. There's a few other coalitions in here that are pretty strong. Uh, there's this one, um, controlled by the U.S. that has five people in it. Uh, those are the countries. Pretty random countries. <laughs> like Thailand and stuff like that, and I guess Sweden, Spain, a lot of them are far away from each other, but I guess that's pretty strong. Um, Yellow Arrow, it's kind of some uh, Middle Eastern countries along with India. And uh, let's see what else we got here. The End, okay, that's pretty strong actually, they're all pretty close to each other. Uh, La Plata is probably, yeah, all South American, so they could be really powerful in the future. And, uh, and yeah, it's pretty much it as far as like the strong coalitions right now. But of course, we have uh, Japan being myself, the leader, and we have Australia, New Zealand, and Indonesia in our coalition currently. Um, we have an application from Romania, which I might accept in the future, uh, if you guys want. But uh, but yeah, that's currently uh, what's going on. Um, not much has happened in these six days. Pretty much what's happened is that I've been talking with the rest of the members of the coalition, and pretty much told them that um, you guys should be attacking because a few of them was uh, a few of them were um, which McCall they were very uh, inexperienced and new and so I kind of just told them to start taking over AI countries and what's close to them and uh, yeah that's what they've been doing so far I might kick New Zealand just because uh, they haven't been really doing anything at all and I might tell Australia to take them over but I guess we'll see but uh, Australia is actually uh, Australia is doing really good right now actually um, they took over the city in Papua New Guinea, and they're actually taking over the Philippines right now, and uh, as well as Indonesia is uh, doing very well too. So I'm definitely going to keep Indonesia and Australia in the coalition for now. Um, they pushed all these lands over here and they started taking stuff over. Uh, hopefully they'll take over, you know, Myanmar, Vietnam, Thailand, Cambodia over there. But uh, as far as what we're doing right now, uh, which you guys are probably interested in the most, um, we're doing a bunch of stuff right now. So uh, the thing with Japan is that it's actually one of the best uh, countries to use in World War III. And the reason for that um, is because of all these cities. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cities that you get. And all of them can use uh, naval bases. Obviously, if you have a, a city here, let's see, uh, it, like this city right here, right? You're not going to be able to put a naval base there because it's just in the middle of the land. But we have seven cities that we start with here, and they all can create naval bases. So that's what we're going to do for the future. We're going to have a very, very, very powerful naval fleet um, that will help us conquer uh, more territory. Um, by the way, recently, uh, North Korea was in the coalition, actually. But they actually got messed up by South Korea. So I ended up taking over South Korea and uh, he started to like rebuild and stuff and uh, he's not currently in the coalition because he left it just in case I had to take some of his stuff over because there were South Korean uh, uh, enemies in his territory so maybe I had to go to his territory and he had to be out of the coalition so I could take it over but uh, basically I might actually be plotting on him because he's only got before when he was in the coalition and he left I only saw there was four infantry in his main homeland city and so I might just send like a bunch of infantry just to take him over because I'd rather have these cities than anyone else being this close to me and uh, having a whole territory themselves. So yeah, I might take over North Korea soon. Um, but yeah, guys, that's kind of what's going on right now. We're also taking over... Oh, didn't mean to do that. Uh, we're also taking over, whatchamacallit, China and India. So India actually sent over... Uh, a bunch of guys I guess and they attacked Shanghai so it looks like they're at war with uh, China and um, I kind of just like rebuttaled and I kind of just decided that alright so since I got all these naval bases I'm getting all these Corvettes um, which we got a bunch going on I think we have like five or six at least um, Corvettes which is just the the regular type of uh, naval unit 
But uh, yeah, I kind of just sent them to attack all the cities. So we attacked Qingdao, Shanghai, uh, Taipei currently, and Hong Kong. And we're going to send uh, some units to just take over. I have this one unit heading to Taipei. And by that time, hopefully, uh, we will have this unit uh, destroyed by our uh, Corvette, which they're currently doing. But uh, it's looking pretty good so far, guys. I mean, we're taking over some good uh, amount of territory already at the start. Um, as far as research, though, uh, we are researching, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, let's take a look here. We are researching a, right, right now, currently, we're researching a motorized infantry thing. But, um, yeah, we already have the armored fighting vehicle. Uh, you guys know that I usually use this or the tank destroyer in my games. Uh, but, yeah, we have the armored fighting vehicle. Um, we'll probably research this next, the reinforced armor. And then, as well as I'm researching the strike fighter. Yeah, so uh, we're researching that right now. I'm pretty sure we have like two going to be coming out soon in Tokyo. Yeah, so we have one being mobilized right now, and then another one will come out soon. But uh, it's looking pretty good so far, guys. We have uh, our naval bases in these cities. This one has a, yeah, this one's mobilizing armored fighting vehicles because it has the army base level two. And uh, yeah, we're looking pretty good, pretty strong so far. Um, next episode, we'll probably have these... Uh, territories conquered uh, maybe we'll attack uh, we might have attacked North Korea at that point and maybe um, New Zealand might be out of the coalition or not at that point unless they're doing something but uh but yeah guys this is the first episode of our Japan series I hope you guys liked it um, there's definitely gonna be more content coming out soon I expect there maybe to be a video on average three weeks uh not three weeks three days maybe every three days you could expect a video maybe from this series at least two or three per week i'd say uh is something good to expect but uh yeah guys this is our japan series um in world war three if you guys like this type of content consider uh coming back to my channel again i have a bunch of more uh conflict the nations content you guys can check out i have a greece uh flashpoint series i also have a north korea series and uh, yeah, this is our newest one so far. So yeah, it's looking pretty good uh, so far, guys. But uh, yeah, if you guys like this type of content, definitely like and subscribe. And uh, Grim, out.